Back in the 2015-16 Premier League season, Leicester City defied all the odds. After being on the borderline of relegation the previous season and after sacking their manager in the preseason, the Foxes not only avoided relegation once again, but they won the whole damn league. I mean, I'm just waiting for Hollywood to make a movie about this underdog tale. But today, we will aim to replicate this. It is time for the Leicester City Challenge. And here are the objectives for today's challenge video. Objective one, quite obviously will be to win the Premier League title again with Leicester City. Objective two, we have to sign the next N'Golo Kante. This means we have to sign a French center midfielder from either of the French professional divisions in FIFA 18. Objective three, we have to finish our first season with Leicester in the bottom half of the Premier League table. And objective four, we have to break the Leicester club record of 10 straight Premier League wins. It's going to be tough, but let's get into the Leicester challenge. What have I got myself into? Oh, I'm fucking shitting myself. So obviously we have to build this squad up a little bit, a lot of work to do with it, but we need to avoid, as you can see, the main goal right now is finishing in the bottom half of the Premier League table in this first season. Sitting 10th, 11th, that would get it there, get it done for us, but we need to think strategically about this. We can't go ahead and pick up players that are gonna, that are gonna get us Champions League and Europa League football. We probably need to attack it in, an, in a sense where we can get players that aren't going to be incredible for us this season, but in season two and season three, they will give us our best shot at winning the Premier League title. I'll probably also look to go for the next N'Golo Kante. Of course, that is going to be a French midfielder, French centre midfielder, French centre defensive midfielder from either League 1 or League 2. I did French in high school, but I can't even remember what 2 is in French. That is utterly embarrassing. I really hope my French teacher wasn't what isn't watching this video. But anyways, let's get into the challenge now and see what we can do with the Leicester City side. We tick off our first objective for the Leicester City Challenge. We have brought in Lucas Toussaint from Lyon, 13 million pounds, 78 rated French center defensive midfielder. Welcome to Leicester City, the next N'Golo Kante. And we bring ourselves in a new attacking midfielder, Manuel Lanzini, 81 rated. We splash the cash on the Argentine. Thankfully, he doesn't have his unfortunate ACL injury like in real life, but he comes to us here at Leicester for 36.7 million pounds. Shinji Okazaki will be departing the club here. The Japanese center forward makes the move to the championship club, West Brom, for 7.9 million pounds. We're going to make a center back signing here, downgrading in terms of overall, but for the future, it's going to work out nice. Ruben Diaz comes from Benfica for 11 million pounds. Unfortunately, we have sold Captain Morgan here. Wes Morgan off to, uh, to West Ham United for 2.9 million pounds. And now I'm just bringing in a bunch of younger, low-rated players that we can get for decent amounts of money to grow them up and either put them into our side or sell them on for more cash in the second and third season. The first one of those is going to be Frankie De Jong from Ajax. Another one of these young, quality players joins us on deadline day. Nicolo Barrea comes from Cagliari for 15 million pounds. A very busy the opening window here with Leicester really made a youthful addition to the squad here. Starting 11 looking decent, but hopefully it's not decent enough to get us a top 10 finish. Anywhere between 10th through to 17th would be great. Just got to keep our job. Let's see how that's going halfway through season one. Okay, this is actually going well. We are sitting in 18th position in the relegation zone on 19 points now. I need to have a closer look and see what's gone wrong with the side, but hopefully we get one position up and that's where we finish. As long as we don't get up to where Fulham are, or sorry, where I should say West Ham and Wolves are, we will be sweet and we will have two seasons then to win the league with Leicester. Right now it is Spurs who are leading the Premier League, however. Not too worried about that, but I just, I've made an observation in the past two, three months. It feels like in the first season of whatever video I do, 
Spurs seem to always win the Premier League, at least have a good shot at it. They are incredibly good in simulations in FIFA 18. Just a little observation I've made. So we were unable to do any business in January here. We spent virtually our whole budget in that first window, but let's see if the challenge will go on or whether we will fall short of finishing outside of the top 10 in season number one. I'll see you guys at the end of season one. Yes, lads, get in. We have completed another challenge, another objective here. We finish just outside the top 10 for this first season. We finish in 11th position here. We only just got through that part of the objective. One more win and we would have been pushing it, definitely. But Spurs did go ahead and win the Premier League there. Bournemouth, Crystal Palace and Cardiff City all relegated. Now, we have two, two more objectives to do. We have to win the Premier League with Leicester. And we have to break the Leicester club record of 10 straight league wins. So now we really turn things up a level. We're going to be pushing... For the Premier League title, let's hit season two harder than ever. We splash the cash here. A massive signing to kick off our second season. Ederson joins us here at Leicester. 50 million pounds plus Schmeichel. A big signing, shoring ourselves up in between the sticks. Welcome to Leicester, Edison. A player departure here, trying to raise up a little bit more fundage. Mark Albrighton off to Stoke City for £7.4 million. Another player departure as Matty James is off to Sheffield Wednesday for £6.3 million. Another player departure, Vicente Ibora is off to Lazio for £14.8 million. Daniel Amar is departing the club to Hanover 96 for 11.5 million pounds as well. And Andy King joins Amati as a departure. He's off to Birmingham City for 3.2 million. Trying to get the funds together to make another big signing before the end of the window. So we've sold on Islam Slimani to Leipzig for 13 million pounds. And there it is. We make a massive centre-back signing. Slowly but surely improving this squad. Davin and Sanchez arriving from Spurs for 42.6 million pounds. I was debating going for someone like uh, Nicolas Seul or uh, maybe uh, Eric Bailly, although Eric Bailly was probably going to be a bit too expensive. Maybe Samuel Ntuti or Marquinhos, someone from a, uh, another league, but I thought let's keep it in the Premier League. Weaken a title rival to make our chances of winning the Premier League with Leicester even stronger. Big improvements made to our back line. The side is growing. I don't think this is enough to win us the Premier League, although I, <laughs> that's what people said about the Leicester side that did win the Premier League. But let's see how we're going halfway through the season. Of course, we need to check out the uh, 10 games in a row winning streak or just undefeated streak if we want to um, complete the challenge. It's 10 wins. So let's hope we get 10 wins in a row. So here we are on the 1st of January, just about halfway through the season, and we're actually in the title race here, which is pretty damn cool to see. I'm happy to see Fulham up there as well, of course, my favourite English side, but Spurs and Liverpool are ahead of us by five points. I'm happy we took Davinson Sanchez away from Spurs, but hopefully we can make a push for the title in the second half of the season. I'm gonna go and have a check now to see if we've managed to get 10 wins in a row as well. It doesn't look too likely though. Just like last season, we don't do any business in this January window. It's hard when we've got a limited amount of money, but let's see if we can win the Premier League title with Leicester and or win 10 games straight. It's gonna be tough. Let's see if we can do it or will we be going to a third season? So we fell off a little bit in the second half of the season, ended up finishing in fifth position, but it does fill me with confidence that we did this well in this second season. I, have, I, I feel like we can have a good crack in season three at winning the Premier League with Leicester. Obviously by looking at the wins column, we haven't won 10 in a row in this second half of the season. We've only won seven games in the second half of the season, which is pretty poor. Liverpool do win the Premier League, so Liverpool fans, get your hopes up. 
Spurs finish in second. West Ham, Brighton and Norwich all relegated. So we've got one more season to complete the Leicester City Challenge. It is all on the line here. We will not be sparing any expenses. Let's put our heart, let's put our soul. This sounds really motivational, but let's put all of that into the third season with Leicester City and let's get them another title. Damari Gray is departing the club here to kick off season three, trying to get some money in. We're not playing with a left midfielder in our formation, so we're gonna sell him to Lazio for 16.8 million pounds. Imagine if this happened. Kylian Mbappe, 71 and a half million pounds. An absolute bargain, in my opinion, for the 20-year-old Frenchman, 87 rated. Will this guy be able to lead us to a Premier League title? God, I hope he can. At the back end of the window here, we have made a new centre-back signing. John Stones arrives to the club, 13 million pounds plus Harry Maguire. I know in real life, Harry Maguire is probably worth more than John Stones after that World Cup campaign, but in FIFA, that is not the case, especially overall wise. So, we've brought in John Stones. Welcome to Leicester City, mate. Mbappe and Stones into the club here. Maguire and Gray out of it. This is what our starting 11 looks like. I don't know if it's going to be enough for us to win the Premier League title, but my God, I hope we can at least give it a good shot. Let's see how the progress is going halfway through the third and final season of the challenge. So here we are halfway through the season and we are definitely in with a shot of winning the Premier League title this season. Only two points away from Tottenham and Manchester United. I've looked through the games we've had this season and we've gone on a few decent streaks. We went on a six win streak at the start of the season, a couple of uh, wins, a three win streak, then a couple of wins here and there, but we've still got 20 games. If we go on a 10 game winning streak for half of them, that is one part of the challenge complete. And I'm pretty confident in believing that if we do go on a 10 game winning streak, we will be in a good position to win the Premier League title. So I don't think we're gonna be able to do that much business in this January window. If I go across to the finance tab, I mean, that's all we have to work with. Uh, and it's not like I can go for a pre-contract signing here because this is the last season, but I'll see what I can do and I'll make sure I inform you guys if anything else happens. So yeah, we were right at the start of the month when we said that we wouldn't think we would make any signings at all. We weren't able to. I was considering maybe looking at somebody to go for a loan, but that didn't happen at all. I tried, but didn't work at all. So we'll see if this side is enough to see us complete the final two goals at the end of season three. Ah, <sighs> well, things have gone to shit in the second half of the season, lads, and we have failed the Leicester City Challenge, proving just how good of an effort it was from Ranieri and co to win it back in 2016, but we have been unable to replicate it here. I reckon if we had another season, we might have been able to give it a better shot, bring in a couple more class players, but Tottenham, ended up running away with it. They were uh, nine points clear from Chelsea, who were ahead of us along with Man United. Not good enough, lads. Just out of curiosity, I wanna see how many wins in a row we ended up getting as a max from the second half of the season. So we'll start off in January, a win there against Leeds, two in a row, three in a row, four in a row. How do we go against Newcastle? Okay, that's the draw that ends it. And then we had a loss, then we have another loss. Oh dear, then we had a win, so that's one. Then there's another loss. A win. Two in a row there. Nope. 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 And then that was a loss, wasn't it? Nope. A draw. Oh my god, April was bad. A win there. A loss there. A draw there. And a loss to West Brom. So we had a four-game winning streak at the start of January. And besides that, it went to absolute crap. So the second half of the season was very, very forgettable. But lads, we managed to build ourselves a nice little squad here. Again, if we had maybe one more season, we could have gone and pushed for it even stronger, but we gave it a good crack. But if you guys did go on to enjoy today's challenge video, make sure you leave a like on the video. Make sure you leave a comment letting me know further challenges you would like me to attempt in FIFA 18. Make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. But most importantly, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I am out. Peace.